how to sign up a prospect using your mindset proper qualification and number three using reverse psychology how to sign up people using all these three correct so let's dive into the topic welcome to a new ask one episode in this episode i thought of answering a question related to how to sign up one more people without running behind them all right so in other words i'm going to answer this question taking three factors into account number 1 how to use your mindset to sign up people and after the mindset you are also using a good qualification process you are qualifying a prospect before bringing them into the process and number 3 you are using reverse psychology all right so when i say mindset which means that you stop hunting people you don't run behind people okay so please come please come please come okay please sign up with my business okay you stop begging people to sign up into your business right so you running behind people will not create any trust hunting doesn't create trust so just think about the hunter and the animal who is running away from the hunter just think about that okay so this hunter is running behind this animal and trying to hunt it down so don't become a hunter when you are a hunter your prospect is same as an animal running away from you right you are trying to close convince do all these things because of your mindset because you have a mindset of a hunter in fact i want you to have a mindset of a fisherman a fisherman will be waiting with the fishing rod till the fish comes and get hooked up with the fishing rod all right same as that you as a fisherman waiting and waiting till the prospect comes to you rather than you are running behind prospects now how to do that all right that's a million dollar question first thing is guys you need to start thinking that i have a business where somebody else do not have and that prospect needs me more than i need him that's the first thought you need to have right because if the prospect do not join your business as a lifelong partner he will have to go to a come back home 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 for rest of his life and then suddenly he'll be going to the cemetery and he will die but if he gets into this industry there's a chance for him to earn a leverage income in other words get others work for you a passive income meaning that you do nothing to earn money number 3 a compounding income where 2 become 4 become 8 become 16 you earn 100 us dollars 200 us dollars 500 us dollars 1000 us dollars after some time you will be earning 10000 us dollars 20000 us dollars 100000 us dollars you understand a compounding income number 3 and number 4 your business is in the e-commerce meaning that you can operate it from anywhere in the world you don't have to be in a specific office all the time you understand guys okay so you are giving these four benefits to a prospect and moreover the fifth benefit is you are building a generational business where your kids will get your business after you are gone so you really need to understand that you have the business prospect has nothing he's just going to a come back home for rest of his life right once you understand this you also understand that i don't need to run behind them they need to run behind me because i have the opportunity right so that's the first thing you need to develop that's your mindset once your mindset is done the next is you need to have a perfect qualifying process all right for that i'm going to talk to you about qualifying the driver and qualifying the car all right so when you present your network marketing business to a prospect you talk about your car the car is what car is the network marketing industry network marketing company these are the car right i am into so and so company this is the reputation of the company company has been building the business for this many years company has this many certifications the recognition the products and services you are also doing a mentor projection the potential of the business how much millions of dollars you can earn so this is where you are qualifying the car meaning promoting the vehicle promoting the business opportunity to prospects that is qualifying the car now qualifying the driver means you are not going to promote too much about your vehicle you are not going to promote too much about your opportunity in fact you are checking whether the driver is suitable to sit in this vehicle that is exactly like fishing you are not running behind the person you are checking whether the person is suitable for my business right same as fishing right you put the fishing rod the fish get hooked up to take the fish check oh this fish is not suitable you put back to the water and then you wait for the right fish correct same as that guys okay now qualifying the driver is checking whether the person is suitable for this business or not that's it now how to check the person is suitable for this business or not how to check that so in the process of checking whether the person is suitable for this business or not i will just ask the question why do you want to do a business because of so and so so and so reasons i do understand that how important are these reasons for you so if you had these reasons why didn't you start something else 
this way i'll be going in detailed question after question after question after question to check the person's number one how badly they want to do something the level of desire how badly or how strong is that person's desire the need to do a business all right number two i will check his attitude towards building a business whether he's looking at building a business is something he must do or just maybe anything is okay maybe a secondary job is okay right number three i'll be checking his sense of urgency i'll be asking questions like how soon do you need to achieve this goal which you just told me right so i'll be questioning about how badly the person want to do something and finally i'll be qualifying whether the person is suitable to sit in this vehicle by checking two factors time and money whether they have the time to spend with the business whether they have money to get started with the business i will check for time and money also at last and if the person is suitable for all these aspects number one having a burning desire a compelling reason to do something number two person knowing that he really needs to do a business nothing else only a business right number three whether the person is having a strong sense of urgency i want to do something right now for my dream to become a reality if these three aspects are done then i'll be go for these last two aspects which is time and money i will check for the time whether the person has enough time whether the person has money to get started with the business or not all these five are being qualified i will go for the promoting of the car i will explain about how beautiful is the company beautiful is the business beautiful is the industry all right and i'm going to talk about the reverse psychology now i will say finally things like why do you think this business is suitable for you after even presenting the whole business now the person will be matching the desire that i think my desire can be achieved when i fulfill this kind of income from this business project right reverse psychology right i am asking the prospect okay why do you think you are suitable for this business why next question why do you think i should invest next 5 years of my life helping you to achieve your dreams and goals why do you think you are suitable for such a position why do you think it is worth for me to spend my next few years of my life sitting in front of you guiding day in day out why do you think i need to take that commitment with you how serious are you so i'll be clearly telling to them do not join the business if you cannot fall into these categories if you cannot hold into a mindset if you cannot read books if you cannot go through video materials if you cannot give this commitment this consistency okay if you cannot give that please do not sign up with me all right and after that i'll also ask in that why should i invest my time if you want to sign up why should i believe that you will be successful in this journey so these are the questions which is coming from reverse psychology right the more we ask them to say don't do it are you suitable i don't think you are suitable why should i invest my time with you why would i believe that you will be giving such a commitment when i ask these kind of questions all the answers coming out of person's mouth will be no i am good at this i am good at that when i take something seriously i will take it very seriously i have this dream i have this goal i have tried many things i have looked into many things nothing is working out for me this is the only option i have and please guide me please mentor me they will be taking out 5000 us dollars from their pocket pay and say thank you and if that happens if people are signing up with you and telling you thank you that means you are not hunting them you are fishing them all right guys so with that being said i believe you got some clarity on how to use number one a good mindset of not hunting down people number two qualifying them qualifying the driver not the vehicle don't promote about your vehicle qualify the driver right and number three use reverse psychology and ask questions and ask them not to do it then they will be coming behind you to do it right use this three to sign up one more people now in the process of you doing it how to do it you want to learn much more in detail if you want to go through a coaching module which is coached by me and learn the step by step process of doing this i would suggest you to go through this video that being said i'm going to bring this video to an end and i hope to see you with a new video till then have a good day and take care and bye bye love you